there's intricacies and differences, I guess, for each species, but by and large, the basic concept is just you, you have a large enclosure. We often use 40-gallon uh, breeder tanks, and uh, we built these PVC structures that settle on the top with holes and perforations in them that we run water through, and they have an auto-drain system, so it, it just simulates a, a rainfall period. We have it on a random timer, um, and we decorate it out, so they're, they're sitting in standing water with lots of structure to climb out with, and um, mostly it's just making sure that they're comfortable and that we're uh, simulating that, that rain period that provokes breeding behavior. And then you have your easy ones like the reed frogs that are just like, I need about eight ounces of water, <laughs> and I am happy. I will lay a like two hundred eggs. Sometimes they in just an eight ounce cup you. of water, and you're like, "Why? This is the worst decision." Because if that was outside, they'd all be bad. Yeah. yeah. So we, we usually, if we find them like that, you move them into a, a larger thing to kind of hatch out, cool. <laughs> so the, cool. the water doesn't spoil and go bad.